Hey everyone, it's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft and I'm doing a, another process video from my scrapbook and cards today inspiration series. I have no idea what part of the series this is, but I will put it in the scrapbook and cards today inspiration playlist so you can see everything that I have created based on suggestions, sketches, ideas from the scrapbook and cards today magazine. So today I'm doing the page map sketch that was in the spring 2022 issue. Um, I really liked the idea of this sort of three by four card grid that's going behind a four by five and a quarter inch photo so of course I did have to cut my photo down it was originally four by six so I made it a little bit smaller um, and then I just went through these Michael's Recollections paper pads that I had some of them had three by four cards um, in different sizes or different orientations. And since this is a photo of me with a birthday balloon and a birthday Twinkie and a birthday crown, I wanted to use the three by four birthday themed cards. Um, this is a, a, a weird, it wasn't really my birthday. Um, every April there's a national only child day. And so I have taken it upon myself as have others to reenact a photo from my childhood. And so this was me reenacting something from my first birthday um, where I did not have a birthday cake for my first birthday. I had a Twinkie. So I actually found cats, gluten-free, dairy-free, quote unquote Twinkies uh, to use for this staged photo. And they're they're pretty good. You have to heat them up. I mean, they're not the same as a regular Twinkie because of the, the allergen free aspect, but they're still pretty good. Um, so yeah, I just staged the photo and I didn't put the other photo in here of me as a baby. Um, because I was lazy, <laughs> but also because I have scrapbooked it, uh, many times before we actually tried to, uh, recreate the photo with my daughter when she was one. So I have those photos in an album, um, and you know, the, to me, this is something that I know what it references, and if nobody else gets it, it's totally fine. But this is um, this is my album, and this is how I'm going to do it. And if I had done two photos, it would have messed up the design of with the sketch. So anyway, um, I also you can see I did a pattern paper, the twelve by twelve size pattern paper in the background, and then I took a piece of pattern paper that I it was fine, but I figured I'm probably never going to use it, so I just turned it over and used the solid white side of it because I needed some white cardstock. I wanted there to be white cardstock and just the pattern paper is the frame, but I didn't have any plain white cardstock. So if you, especially if you're shopping your stash and need to use things from your stash, don't feel like you have to use the pattern, the pattern side. If it's got white on the other side, like go for just using the white, you know, cut it down, mat a photo with it. You don't have to use the pattern if you don't like it. And sometimes, you know, you get paper pads or you get collections and you're like, oh, this, this pattern's just okay. Don't feel like you have to use it in the way it was intended. Use the white backside because um, it just is so much easier. So the colors that I am doing some splatters with are actually squeezed lemonade. Um, I've got my Nouveau Mica Mist in antique gold, and then the color of the June, no, the color of the July Best of Both Worlds kit is a Shabby Shutters. So two Tim Holtz Distress Oxide sprays, and then one of the Nouveau Mica Mist. Um, I just chose those colors. I mean, I chose Shabby Shutters because it was on my desk, and I wanted to use it. Uh, we haven't used it yet so far in the scrapbooking as of the time of this video uh, with Shamel doing her lives. Um, and then I liked the bright yellow because there were some bright colors with the um, in that pattern paper. I mean, you can see right there in the word roll, there's a big bright yellow. And then I just liked the gold because there was a little bit, there's a little bit of gold foiling in the paper as well. You also saw me roll a paper towel roll over the splatters. That is something that I haven't done in a really long time, but I love doing it for splatters because, uh, and it's something that I've seen other scrapbookers do. I mean, uh, this was something that was, um, I got this technique many, 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 many years ago when I first started watching scrapbooking YouTube channels. Um, but doing the splatters, if you just roll the paper towel roll over them, they just dry so much faster and then you can get to scrapbooking and putting things down a lot sooner. Um, I will also have you know that if things look or sound a little bit different with this video, I am testing something out called editing videos on my phone. Phone. I have an iPhone, so I have iMovie on my phone. And I was like, you know what? I record all my videos on my phone 
why not try to edit them? And I'm still learning. There are a few things that I'm trying. There's a few things within the iMovie app that are different from what's on the computer. So um, like my intro music, that's gonna that's different. Um, they don't have the same um, typeface font effects as in as on the computer. I don't know why. I think they would just have similar things. Um, I'm also doing the voiceover on my phone and I'm still trying to like figure out the best way to make the photos show at the end when I do the close-up photos. So um, if you're like, oh, this this is weird, some, uh, just bear with me. I'm just testing it out for this. And maybe I'll continue doing it this way if I end up liking it. Um, I'm just trying to see what's a little bit easier and um, what eliminates the most steps for me. But no matter what, I'm glad that you're watching this video and I thank you for stopping by the channel. If you're a subscriber, welcome back and I hope that you're enjoying this video. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on other process videos. I do one every Tuesday and then I also participate in a variety of challenges and hops throughout the month. And sometimes I do little bonus process videos like the Scrapbook and Cards Today inspiration one. And I, I have other playlists as well. So if you're looking for inspiration, you don't know where to start, check out the playlists and just go through some of those videos and, and see what you like. So right now I am really trying to adhere to where the embellishments are on the original sketch. And you can kind of see it on the piece of paper there to the uh, left. Um, there's some like what looks like washi tape going on here. So I'm like, okay, let's put some washi tape down. I bought some washi tape at the Dollar Tree not too long ago. I think it came in like a pack of four or five. So it was a pretty good selection. So I just took um, sort of like a blue star patterned piece and I put it up at the top. Um, I am going to add some to the bottom as well just to kind of tie it all together and, and bring it in just a little bit more. Um, and then it's kind of down to embellishments and titles. So the title is going to be with two different types of alphas, and I'm going to call it Twinkie Time. The Twinkie is in Pink Fresh Alpha Stickers, and then the bottom word Time is in American Crafts Thickers. And yes, I used a three as an uppercase E because I did not have any other uppercase E's. But so, yeah. That's another way you can chop your stash is using numbers to become letters. <laughs> I do that all the time. Now I'm just going to throw in a couple extra um, embellishments because I don't have any specific birthday themed embellishments. This paper pad didn't come with any stickers. There was nothing, no, no embellishments that were specific to this paper pad. So I'm just using the embellishments from my June Best of Both Worlds kit and a couple other items that I just randomly found in my stash. And I'm just going to build up a few embellishment clusters um, here and there. And I think I, I end up liking the way that this looks. Um, again, it, it's kind of, there's sort of a theme going on with the birthday thing, but also at the same time, it's very like random and, and general. So I feel like using random embellishments and random stickers is totally fine. And I sometimes like the way these types of layouts oh, yeah. look the best. I have a little helper here who, who's watching. Mm -hmm. You probably saw the process video where she did the voiceover entirely. So I might have to make her um, or let her have another guest appearance here soon, but not in this video, kiddo. Me, me. So, um, yeah, I like the way that sort of like you just can take random embellishments for random photos and just put it all together. Um, yeah, and I also think that this, I actually use this design for another layout that you'll see in my upcoming layout chair um, because I think it's just such an easy design to use in so many different ways. Um, and I love sketches like that. The page map sketches are so great, especially because they give you dimensions of what the photo is supposed to be, you know, sizing dimensions. Um, but then you can also just kind of take them and do whatever you want with them. So you'll see a different version of this when I do the layout share. And if you haven't subscribed, you might miss out on that. So that's another reason why you might consider subscribing to the channel. Um, let me know if you have any questions about the products that I'm using, the techniques that you've seen me do. I'm happy to answer those questions in the comments below. Or if you just want to say hi, I love uh, responding to all, reading and responding to all the comments that I get. So I'm adding in a couple little embellishment or enamel dots to build out the embellishment clusters just a tiny bit. I still have some enamel dots in my stash um, that I want to use up. So I'm just kind of throwing those here and there. They're all like a, like a blue shade. So I'm just kind of mixing and matching the different blue colors. And again, just creating more of a, a built out embellishment cluster. 
Let me know if you guys are subscribers to Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. They have a digital version. You can also get a print version and it's free when you order through scrapbook.com. So I haven't gotten the summer issue yet because I haven't placed an order with scrapbook.com yet, but I do plan on getting that issue and I can't wait to share more inspiration from the magazine with you here as well as on Instagram and on the other social media platforms. So be sure to check the description box below for those links so you can follow me there. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.